So can you tell me the uh, the full story, the saga of your failures to learn programming? Was Commodore 64 involved? Commodore 64 was the inspiration. I really wanted a Commodore 64. That was the first computer I ever sat down in front. And the way I sat down in front of it was I was five years old and there was this one kid on my street who had a Commodore 64. No one else had a computer. So we were all the kids just getting over there and we were all playing year Kung Fu. Back in 84, 85, magazines would literally print source code at the back of their magazines. And you could just sit and type it in. So I tried to do that. And it would take like, maybe programming is just not, maybe it's too much math. Like I like math in this sort of superficial way. I don't like it in the deep way that some of my perhaps slightly nerdier friends did, who I had tremendous respect for. I'm like, I'm not that person. I'm not the math, math geek who's going to figure it all out. So after that attempt with easy Amos, and failing to even get, I don't even think I completed one even very basic game. And they had a text editor and us kids just got like, hey, build something on the internet. And it was just HTML. And the first thing you do is like, oh, I can make the text, text blink by just putting in this tag and saving it. That was that moment. That was actually when I reawakened the urge to want to learn the program because I got a positive experience. And then slowly I picked up more and more of it. First website I did with someone one of these programmers from the demo scene that was dynamic was ASP.net. It wasn't even actually called .net. That was what we started on. And then we moved on to PHP. And PHP was when I finally got it, when it finally clicked, when conditionals and loops and variables and all of that stuff started to make sense enough to me that I thought, I can do this. 